There is some great controversy in your scripture. And we need the Holy Ghost and the body of Christ put together to help sort this out. In this, I'm, this video, I am asking for the body of Christ to use the Holy Ghost to help me sort this out. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing this is because Jonathan Kleck just put out a video and he went super fast so people could only listen and not understand. And what he's doing is what the Roman Catholic Church is, has done in the past. And this video is going to focus on the rock as Jesus and the definition. Because Jesus is the rock and the Roman Catholic Church has put Peter as the rock. And I want to just show you something here um, it's going to be in Matthew 16 sorry for the uh, unprofessional way I'm doing this but this is, is, is okay whoops let's just go 16 Okay. And Jesus answered him and said, un, uh, said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, which is Peter, for flesh and blood had not revealed it unto you, unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. Okay. And I say also unto thee, that thou Peter okay he's just recognizing the person and what he has said upon this rock I will build my church it doesn't say that he called Peter the rock because Peter in definition means pebble a piece of rock and this is one of the deceptions that is being put out in Jonathan's teachings Jonathan Cleck and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven okay well that's what we're supposed to do is pick up the knowledge of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven so because of what you do with the word Jesus the rock he will bind on earth uh, thou shalt bind on earth whatever, whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose on in heaven. So if we loose the Holy Ghost on earth, it will be loosed in heaven. Okay? But if we loose Satan on earth, he will be loosed in heaven because Satan is the fallen Lucifer. Okay, now, <clears throat> it is so important because if Peter is the rock, further down, a couple uh, verses later, which I would say which is in the same day, within an hour of this last episode, from that time forth, began Jesus to slew uh, unto the disciples that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and, and chief priests and the scribes and be killed and be raised again on the third day. Now, when they said upon this rock, I will build my church, they were 33 degree longitude, 33 degree latitude at the foot of Mount Hermon where a pan worship cave was or is and it was on their way to Caesarea okay 
So they're communicating at this time after Jesus told uh, Peter that uh, he was the Christ and upon that he was going to build his church. Okay, it doesn't say that Peter should be equal to Christ, calling him the rock. That is the Roman Catholic Church doing this. Okay, and Roman Christianity is an oxymoron because think about it. Uh, Paul brought the word from the Jews to the Gentiles. Okay, he used to be a Roman Catholic prosecute, uh, prosecuting the Christians. And then he had his vision and his, uh, his, uh, his divine invention with the Lord. And he was brought into the discipleship. And then he supported the Christians and convicted the Roman Catholics. So how can that be that the Roman Catholics are in charge of Christianity? Unless it's like the move of the Jews that say they are the Jews, but they are this synagogue of Satan. Okay? It's the same thing they're doing with the Roman Catholic Church and Christianity. They're two opposites. Okay? Because we cannot change the Word of God. And if we loose it on earth, it will be loosed on heaven. Okay? People, we really got to look into this, and I'm asking for the help of the body of Christ to find out what they can. In Jesus' name, amen.